Distillery day today, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, uh, I think they fixed the bed issue. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a lot more softer, sort of rock hard. It was a lot more softer, but I reckon they just put more cushioning underneath it, uh, like more um, pillow top or, or whatever they did. It was pretty, uh, it, it was better this time around. My back didn't kill me this morning, but I still got up early. Um, as I normally do. Um, the weather outside is, um, there's been some showers and some winds around, but you know, nothing. Uh, <sighs> anyway, uh, I'll give you a rundown of uh, yesterday morning. Yesterday, um, we went to Beauty Point and we went to the Seahorse House and Plato Horse House. Uh, Seahorse House had all the, um, uh, all the stuff in relation to seahorses. So I learned a lot about the seahorses life cycle, how they bred, how they um, uh, how they feed, how they uh, do it all and, and it's just amazing if you walk through it um, you know they have like these large tanks of different stages of the um, the seahorses life stages and as soon as you come into the room they know that they're going to get fed or they're going to something's going to happen and they all congregate towards the top of the the tank or uh, these tanks were like you know like spa size tanks which had like a clear window on it and uh, you're able to look in and they all came right up to the window and all looked at you and they all, they all followed you and uh, it was pretty awesome to see and uh, that was really really good we really enjoyed that um that took around about an hour to do um uh, we ended up getting the two adult triple pass which was $49 each and then we paid for uh, one child at each venue which worked out a lot more cheaper than buying uh, the triple pass for all three now the triple pass has gone up in price on the website it says 130 but when you get there it's 135 um, same with the double uh, it was $10.50 for booking and uh, then we went to the Plat Out Puss House, and in there they had an Echidna exhibit, and that was absolutely fantastic as well. The Platypus was awesome as well. I learned so much about platypuses. Uh, simply at school, they never really taught too much about them, like it was uh, because they didn't know too much about them. Uh, now they do. Um, uh, back then, it was just a um, uh, you know, it was a mammal laying eggs, and that's about it, and they swam. And now I learned that, you know, they do this, they do that. Um, the males have got a venom uh, spur to them. Uh, they're quite aggressive and territorial. Um, it was great fun. Um, I really enjoyed it. I learned so much about uh, platypuses. Uh, the echidnas... Uh, the kittens was awesome because you go into this room and you stand like in a circle and the kittens just like walk in and out in between you and uh, you know, it was really good you just see them and you know they come up to you and they give you a bit of a sniff and it was awesome and they move really quickly I must admit they're really really quick uh, creatures um, and that was awesome I really enjoyed the kittens I put a big smile on my face I just thought it was just Fantastic. Uh, give hats off to um, the people at um, Platypus uh, Museum and uh, uh, the Seahorse House. Um, both very informal, uh, very um, informative and educational. Um, so I highly recommend uh, doing those two um, places if you want. Um, I, I really recommend the Platypus House and um, Seahorse House, along with the Echidna uh, exhibit as well. Highly recommend that. Um, the platypus house was, I think, seven dollars fifty for a child, and then we went to Beaconsfield uh, Mine and Heritage Centre. Now, uh, for you users that don't know, Beaconsfield in two thousand and six, there was a mine collapse where three people got trapped, one died, two survived, um, 
uh, and it was like 14 days until they rescued them. Now, um, we went through that as well. Um, I think it was $5 for Brookie to get in. Uh, so it worked out overall cheaper for the three of us. Um, and and the guy that was uh, selling the tickets at uh, the Seahorse Museum recommended that we do it that way rather than just get the three. Um, uh, the trip pass for a family. Uh, I mean, look, it probably saved us I think 20 15 20 dollars I mean yeah that's great but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter I learned a lot about it and I was absolutely um, gobsmacked because I had a recreation of the how much room that these guys actually had these two guys were stuck in a 1.5 square meter square or well not square meter a cubic meter of space now that's really really tiny and they had this like there's a bit set up and where you can actually go into it try to go into it and it's like a tunnel and you had to like stand up and I was like really claustrophobic it was really 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 scary one it's dark and you can't see two um, it's cold um, and three, you got no room to move, and if you need to do something, you know, you basically bump into each other. And um, yeah, 14 days I was stuck in that little 1.5 cubic meter of space. Wow. So that was kind of good. And then we went to Hog's Breath uh, a restaurant here in Longsystem. We've been recommended this one by a family member. And uh, he said it's probably better than the ones in Adelaide. And it's true, it is, it's better than the ones in, uh, in Adelaide. Um, uh, it tasted much more better. Uh, the fuel of the place was much more better. It was much more cleaner than Adelaide. Like, um, overall appearance, I should say, not like in a hygienic way. Um, it was very, uh, it looked very clean and fresh and still have retained all that, uh, you know, uh, Pan American type memorabilia but it wasn't so um, dirty in a way um, so anyway we did that uh, which was really good to have a nice good meal for once and then we came home and just chilled and relaxed and uh, read a little bit and that's it now today is uh, Helio Rose Distillery near Burnie so it's about an hour and a half drive and then we'll do that i'm doing a tour and i've also booked us into a cafe which is right next door to it and we're having lunch there so i'm really looking forward to that anyway see you on the flip side good morning everybody and we're finally here at helia roads distillery i'm doing the uh, walking tour of uh, the factory and uh, the distillery and how they do it. So far it's been very fascinating, very interesting. Uh, Diane's my uh, host and she's uh, absolutely lovely. Um, can't wait to go through the rest of it all, so I'm really happy as a
everybody, and uh, get a bit of light off me. That'd be better. Uh, we'll just uh, just give you a bit of wrap up of what happened today. Uh, today we drove out to um, uh, Hellier Road Distillery uh, just outside of Burnie, and I uh, did the whiskey uh, tour and tasting, and uh, had a lovely. Uh, tour guide, her name was Diane, and she was very knowledgeable, really great, I really enjoyed her, uh, the way that she presented the tour, and the way that she um, uh, talked about whiskey, you know, it was great to talk to someone who understood whiskey the same way as I do, I was able to try um, uh, uh, full cast strength, uh, single malt, uh, uh, of their, their 10 year old single remote and it was absolutely fantastic and uh, she was uh, very well knowledgeable and everything and said everything beautifully highly recommend doing that it's $20 uh, for the actual tour and then if you want to pour your own um, 500 ml bottle of car strength uh, whiskey malt um, your own pour your own bottle basically it's another eighty five dollars um, and I did of course had to get one for myself and um, it's absolutely fantastic um, well worth it then we had uh, lunch and I've got to say my god the lunch was amazing it was really good really lived up to, it, to its name um, all up uh, it cost between me Carrie and Brookie uh, $200 including the whiskey and including uh, the uh, I've got a uh, whiskey taster uh, which is three different whiskies plus a little cream whiskey as well and that was fantastic uh, um, overall five out of five for the restaurant probably one of the best meals I've had here in Tassie um, uh, uh, Diane big thumbs up Big thumbs up to you. You did a really good job. Uh, I highly recommend anyone who comes here to Tassie to definitely go visit to Hellier Road Distilleries and um, have a good time there. Make sure you have something to eat at the restaurant there. It's absolutely fantastic. Really nice. Well, anyway, uh, uh, we've just finished having some dinner. Um, just got some KFC, you know, just something, something on the way home. Um, other than that, so tomorrow, I don't know what we're doing, uh, still thinking about it, and uh, we'll get back to you on that. So, anyway, see you on the flip side.